What's up, Permian Basin? Welcome back to another episode of Workforce Table Talk, where we keep the Permian Basin in the know. My name is Valerie. And my name is Diana. And today we have Miss Adamari here. She is a WIOA youth participant, and she's going to tell us a little, about her, a little bit about her experience in the program. Yes, as, an, as a reminder to everyone in the community, we do service 17 counties in the Permian Basin for any individual needing uh, training assistance, and it could be from the ages as young as 16 to 24 to be in our work experience program, or any adult that has lost their job at no fault of their own. Um, barriers can include um, being a teen parent, maybe uh, low income, and then there's other ways that you can find out more about how you can qualify. Just give us a call. Yes. And then just to get into it, um, how did you hear about our program? I first heard about the program when I was in high school. Uh, mm -hmm. The Workforce Solutions came and provided information about their services and what the WIOA program was about. Okay. So they came to your school and did that? Yes, ma'am. And before that, had you ever heard about Workforce Solutions or, or seen them anywhere else before? Yes, I did. Um, our schools would take, out, um, take us out and um, take us to events where they were there. Okay. Providing information. That's good. So tell us, what was your situation prior to receiving workforce assistance? My situation prior was I was not self-sufficient. I was struggling to finish high school while raising both of my twin girls. And um, I was struggling to find a daycare and a job. Okay. What were some of the significant struggles that you found um, during the program? During the program, my girls happened to get sick and I was unable to work, so the Workforce Solutions assisted me with um, support services and they helped me with my utilities, which was electricity, gas, and paid for my rent. That's great. And then as far as, you know, the services that Workforce Solutions is able to offer and your case manager, how else were they able to help you? They uh, actually provided work experience for me and the job. Um, and they're helping me with uh, school tuition. So. Okay, well that's great. Thank you. So, um, what kind of experience did you receive at your work site? Uh, the type of experience that I received at my work site was uh, general office skills and life set skills nice. that will stick with me throughout my life. That's good, that's good. I mean, you wanna have those skills that you can carry on with you and when you get those core skills, at one of these drops like this, and it, you know, it does stick with you. So I'm glad that you were able to do that. What is your situation after receiving workforce assistance? My situation after receiving workforce assistance was that now I have a stable job and a full-time um, job. And you've gained some work skills? Yes. What goals have you reached? I have reached valuable skills, which was a main goal for me. Okay. Cool. So now that you've gotten more comfortable with um, your situation and you've gained some work experience, what's next for you? Uh, continuing my education thanks to the Workforce Solutions. Nice. So what are you wanting to do? What, what are you going to school for? Um, I'm interested in going into business administration. Cool. That's really good. Are there any significant people in your life that you'd like to recognize that played a role while you were in this program? Yes, my case manager for always uh, sticking and not giving up. And um, also I got to work with Valerie and she was always helpful with me and very supportive. So, And also I want to um, thank the Workforce Solutions for giving me an opportunity to work here and give me the experience. Well, that's great, and and I did have the opportunity of working with you, and I've seen you grown grow so much since the first time you came to to the office. So, um, I I can say that I I do feel that you've learned some of those skills that you can carry on with you. So, congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that is great. Um, and also, just so you know, we are out in the community. Um, she has been out in community resource events. And what are some of the things that you have done when you're out there in those events? Um, so we're communicating with students. Um, we're actually doing VR headsets mm -hmm. with them, career exploration, trying to get them a hands on with uh, maybe what they want to do in the future. And kind of give you a little piece of advice, right? Yes. Awesome. So. Tell us, would you recommend this program to others? Yes, of course. Uh, this is a life-changing opportunity for those who qualify. 
great. And and we're happy to hear that you had a good experience and, and that it's helped you. So that's awesome. I wouldn't change it a bit. So. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. And and I'm, I'm, it just makes us happy to hear that. So we do want to thank you for joining us today, for sharing your story. Um, this By you sharing your story, you're probably going to be inspiring others and encouraging others to come and call us for more information and and want to do better for themselves as well so thank okay. you so much for of that of course thank you for having me yes um okay so we want to remind everyone to follow us on social media um facebook instagram youtube twitter uh, we do have all of our um, information on the screen right now if um if you would check those out you'll learn more about what we're doing in the community more information updates on events um, videos and much more uh, we do have an um, an event coming up later on this summer and that's an uh, an event that diana is going to tell us a little bit more about right now yes so july 29th will be an event that we're going to do it is called back to the 90s so we're looking forward to having this event it will be from 10 to 2 it is open for the community we will be having great resources and like adam Eddie said um, resources for all ages um, we're going to invite other agencies and just have a lot of great surprises for you so we're looking forward to see you so mark your calendars yes and if you want more information about this event please contact Diana mm -hmm. uh, our number is 432-367-3332 um, and if you'd like more information on the WIOA program that Adamari has been in um, reach out to us as well we also have um, a QR code that you can scan and give us your information and we'll reach out to you um, and at, if all else fails you can just come by and see us and, and we'll be able to assist you but again I want to thank Adamari for being here and sharing thank your you. story mm -hmm. and uh, thank you all for tuning in and if you didn't know before now, now you, you know, know.